Hi, my name is Dan Nelson, and I am really excited about presenting to you the Speedball Complete Calligraphy Kit. Now, we're aiming especially at people that are just getting started in calligraphy. If you have a lot of experience, if I say anything that's beneath you, please let it go. I'm talking to people who are maybe just getting started. Let me tell you, first of all, what's in the kit. You get a practice pad, not with five or six or seven pages, but 50 pages ready and ruled for chancery italic or italic script. Got it? The pad. Next is this delightful book, and I've read almost every word on the, in this book. Great history, gives you the background for the letters, gives you lots of technical tips about how to do them. Just a, a wealth of information. Uh, I got a, an early version of this when I was 12 years old. That's what got me started doing calligraphy way back in aught six. Wait. 66, that's right. And uh, also in the, in the kit is a felt tip pen. I'm going to talk about what's a good idea about that. A standard pen holder and a C2 nib, an oblique pen holder, and a Hunt 101 flexible nib. And again, I'll explain a little bit more about that. Now, you get one jar of ink. And whoever put this kit together is really brilliant because instead of giving you two colors of ink, they give you a jar of pen cleaner, which is really a brilliant idea. Since I've got it open, I'll go ahead and tell you that one of the things you're going to want to use that for besides to clean off your fingers and clean off your work surface is that when the nibs leave the factory, they actually have a very thin coat of oil on them so that they don't tarnish, so that they don't get any rust on them while they're getting to your store and then to you. So you want to clean that oil off. So before you ever begin to use your pen, you'll dip it in the cleaner and wipe it off with the tissue. Now your pen is probably all ready to go, okay? But I'm sort of getting ahead of myself. Let's back up and talk about the Elegant Writer felt tip marker. Why did we include that in the kit? The reason is because it's a great way to get started in calligraphy. No muss, no fuss, no messing with cleaners and inks and nibs and so on and so forth. And if you're just getting started, that's pretty important. The most important thing about calligraphy is not the tools, but is your hand. And you can begin right from the get-go working on your hand by using a felt tip marker. Now, let's say you want to practice a new font. Let's go to one of the most standard ones, which would be uh, a which would be an italic font, and I'm, I'm looking at page uh, 38. Let's look at page 38. So you look at these letters and you want to begin practicing. The, the lines on this page are already set up for an italic slant of the letter. Okay, that's the slant of the letter, not to be confused with the angle of the pen, two different things. Let me give you my quick take on pen angle. May I? This book, along with every other book I've ever read on calligraphy, they tell you to hold your pen at a 40, 42, 38, 50, 20, you know, some, some degree angle. All of which is real convenient if you just, oh, happen to have a protractor in your back pocket. <laughs> By the way, you're more than welcome to add a protractor to your calligraphy kit. But I find all those numbers quite confusing, frankly, just between you and me, I know exactly what we do. They tell us a 42 degree angle, which is meaningless to me, but I look at the pictures on the page and say, oh, they mean this angle, <laughs> okay? Well, I've come up with another system and you and I are gonna start a new revolution about a, a, a way of talking about pen angle. Are you, are you ready for this? Instead of no protractor, you just draw a 90 degree, a messy 90 degree, because you, you need to be able to see this in your head. 90 degree angle, then you bisect that, of course, let me see that, that'd be a 45, right? And you bisect each of those again. There you go. Anybody can do this. You can do this in your head. And then I simply label these one, two, three, four, five. So if you ever watch any of my calligraphy instructional videos, you'll find me referring to this when it comes to pen angle. So for an italic hand, hmm, what angle? Shall we hold the pen at? And the answer is just a little bit past the three. See, my brain can do that. I don't know about yours, but I don't know about 42 degrees and all that kind of stuff. My brain just goes, <laughs> I don't know. But, but I can see a little bit past the three. So that's 
pen angle. You ready? Now we're ready to start making letters. So you pick up the book, and uh, being the creative people that we are, we start with the letter um, A. <laughs> what a great idea. And uh, the A starts at the ascender line. If you don't know what ascender line means, keep reading the book. You'll f find that out very quickly. All the way down to the base line. So you do it once, and then you go, um, okay, not bad. I think there should be a little more swoop right there. So you do it again, and you swoop it a little bit more. And then you say, oh, down here, I think there should be a little bit more of a sharp point right there. Are you, are, are you, you, this is the inner talk that's going on in your brain. And then you say, um, that, that stroke was okay. I'm going to try to imitate that one again. And that was okay. And then a straight bar right across there. So I've done it twice. And then I look at this one and say, well, I think it should have the, a little point here. So I, I make this change. Are you with me? So you'll end up doing the letter A 10, 15, 20 times. And then you move to letter B. And that might sound really irritating, except for this one really key fact, is that calligraphy, to do calligraphy, you have to be relaxed. So I hope you'll experience what I experience those few, um, <laughs> those, those few minutes in the day that I'm doing calligraphy are like the most relaxed minutes of the day because you have, it's like meditation. You got to get in the zone and you have to be relaxed. So doing, you know, 10 A's isn't really that painful. It's just like, oh, this is comfortable. <laughs> are you with me? Uh, so the, the felt tip marker is great for practice because it's really your hand that needs to practice, not the pen. Uh, and the, the felt tip marker is probably good for, let's say, a hundred or so wedding invitations. You'll find at the end of that time, it starts getting a little blunt and a little smushy around the edges. And then you're going, dang, I think I'm ready for the real thing. All right, you got it? So that's where the real thing comes in. And having said that, let me point out, I, I am really serious about this, that uh, I don't know if you've tried any calligraphy kits on your calligraphy journey. I have and frankly, they've all been very disappointing because the kits, the, the, the nibs that are provided in every other kit that I've tried are inferior nib, inferior tips. The pens aren't high quality. Well, when you get the Speedball Complete Calligraphy Kit, you get a fully 100% professional nib, the same nib that I use, the same nib that master calligraphers uh, use to do their calligraphy. It is not a student nib and that is huge. So uh, kudos to the people that put this kit together. Let's say then you're ready to start practicing with your C nib. The C nibs are the nibs, let me draw a real quick illustration here. They're the nibs that um, are flat on the end like that. That's for doing most, what most people call calligraphy is done with a C nib and a C2 is the second, a Z, C0 is the biggest one, C1 is smaller, C2 is smaller than that. It's the second largest, so it's a very nice uh, middle of the road size for getting started. Let's change fonts, let's say we want to go back to page 36, now we're on gothicized italic, gothicized italic is how that word is usually pronounced. And I'm going to open my jar of ink, which is actually acrylic ink. Now you see here that I've already put a sticky note on the page here. That's because when I start using a real pen, I want to train or warm up the nib pretty much before, after every dip and before every letter. So let's say I'm going to begin here with a lowercase. This is my baseline. Here's my header, ascender, and descender. Again, all of these are defined in the book. So I'm going to begin with the letter A. Again, the, the lines on this practice sheet are already set up for an italic hand. The slant of the letter is already printed for you. Let's do a C. My pen still seems to be carrying just the right amount of ink. Let's see if we can get away with a D. This is the kind of thing you'll find out as you're practicing is how many letters can you do before you need to reload? Let's do an E and see, see when we run out. You'll get a feel for it very quickly. 
while I'm doing this, let me also say that as a beginning calligrapher, there, now, now we're starting to just start run out of ink on the letter G. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh letter, it's time to dip again. One of the things as a calligrapher, I think one of the key mistakes I made for years is I got too creative too early. Learn these fonts. Learn the standard tradition. Get them down. Learn them cold. Then start to get creative. Don't get creative too soon because the, the creativity that you're doing on your own is probably outside the bounds of excellent calligraphy. Okay, so learn the basics, then branch out from there. Just one more thing is included in the kit, and that is the oblique pen holder. And uh, you can buy all kinds of fancy uh, oblique pen holders, expensive, nice ones. And don't, again, don't tell those, fa those expensive people, but this, this inexpensive oblique holder works just fine for my hand. So maybe I'm just lucky uh, and it works for me. The, the Hunt Flexible Nib is the one that does these beautiful thick and thin strokes like you would use for copper plate or Spencerian script. Got it? So that's a little bit more advanced, but I'm so tickled that it's in the kit. The kit is just a great way to get introduced to the whole world of calligraphy. It's available at craft stores and art stores. Go out and get one, get two. <laughs> no, get one and use it well. And I hope you'll have a great time learning calligraphy. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.